So I came out in the garage this morning just ready to get this motor put back in the MR2. Then I realized I should probably put the cat can on this motor before I do that. So today that's what we're gonna do. So to get started, let me show you the catch can kit I got from maxpeedingrods.com. This kit includes everything you need to get started, including the baffled catch can, AN10 line, two 90 degree fittings, two straight fittings, and two 45 degree fittings, as well as a breather filter. So this is actually a pretty nice little unit. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for the product information, as well as a discount code for 10% off by entering code SCANTRON. Let's get this thing put on. So just to show you what we're working with, this is a 5.3 truck motor. I put on the LS1 intake manifold. So it's flipped, unfortunately, because I have a transaxle attached to it. And to make this work with the truck electronic throttle body, we had to make some provisions up top for the breather, the fresh air breather. So looking at mounting this catch can, my initial thought was I'd be able to just bolt this thing right to the head and call it good. However, the AN lines are facing forward, which means I'm gonna to have to come up with a whole bunch of angles and elbows to get it back to these two breather ports. Ow! So that's probably not what I'm gonna do. So I think my next best bet is to turn this 90 degrees and face both of those ports in towards the, the intake manifold. So to get started, we'll have to come up with a template. Starting with marking the mounting holes, radiusing the corners and cutting it out. So this is the final result of my template, my cardboard template that I made. It has one simple 90 degree turn in it. And I left this, this little cutout right here to give me some more space to get to this oil filler neck. So we're gonna bolt this to the head. After adding this 90 degree, I'll be able to mount this right to my bracket and it'll give me easy access to plumb it in. So now we're gonna go transfer this over to some eighth inch aluminum. Drill the mounting holes. Cut it to shape. Adding a one and one quarter inch dimple die. And then three three quarter inch dimples. Lastly, making the 90 degree bend on my homemade press brick. Here's the bracket complete. We can get this thing bolted to the head and we'll get the catch cam put on there and we'll start routing the lines. So that the catch cam's installed, looks like I'm gonna have plenty of space to drain this thing from down below. Now we can get this thing plumbed up. This is the fresh air line that's gonna come through here and this vents into this valve cover right there. The dirty side is gonna come from this valve cover, that's the PCV valve. We're gonna route that thing around here and the dirty side is gonna come in. It's gonna get recycled through here and cleaned out. And then this lower one, I have a 45 AN and we're gonna plumb that right back into the inlet there. So now it's time to put our fitting ends on this AN line. I'm gonna put the nut over the AN line itself. And then we can get this one started. So here is my top line routing coming around the front or the actual back of the motor in this case. Now I've marked it to where I'm gonna cut it. It's gonna terminate right here on the PCV valve. Normally we would put another AN fitting on the end of this and I could always do that in the future and change it to a barb fitting. However, in today's circumstances, I'm gonna slip over a piece of heat shrink tubing and we'll shrink this shut or tight. That way we'll keep these braids from flaring on us and then we can come back with a hose clamp and clamp that to our PCV valve. Both hoses put together. Now we can finish our assembly. So 
there you had a quick and easy installation of a catch can on your LS based engine. As always, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and join me next time when we get this motor inside that Toyota MR2.